Welcome to another episode of CB Clips. My name is Etienne St. Louis and I'm a pediatric surgery fellow here at the Montreal Children's Hospital. In this episode, we discuss a four-year-old boy who presented with a history of sudden abdominal distension, followed by increasing abdominal pain and fever over 48 hours. He was stable on presentation, but had a distended and tender abdomen on exam. His CBC was normal, but his CRP was elevated at 200. His plain films and abdominal ultrasound images were shown. We asked you what is the most likely diagnosis and what would you do? We received many responses and they were generally split between additional imaging and percutaneous or image-guided drainage. The differential includes a complicated cystic mass versus an abdominal abscess, which in this aid group may be secondary to perforated appendicitis. Most of you correctly identified that many features of this case are not typical of appendicitis. In this case, the plain films show an asymmetry of the gas pattern with conspicuous crowding of the bowel loops in the upper abdomen and paucity of gas in the lower abdomen. There is no significant intestinal dilatation or air fluid levels to suggest a mechanical bowel obstruction. Given the patient's young age, the history and physical examination may be less reliable and therefore a lower threshold to obtain imaging is reasonable. However, the important clinical principle to highlight here is that further imaging should not change the plan to explore a toddler with generalized peritonitis and a large fluid collection on ultrasound. The second clinical principle here is that laparoscopy is an excellent modality to clarify the diagnosis and inform the treatment approach. In this case, we identified a giant thin-walled cyst with an internal fluid fluid level, suggesting internal hemorrhage. Further abdominal exploration revealed this to be a mobile omental cyst. With an omental cyst, it is safe to proceed with laparoscopic drainage of the cyst to facilitate extirpation through the umbilical trocar site. When the drained lesion was brought out through the umbilical incision, it consisted of a thin-walled cyst which contained hemorrhagic fluid and necrotic fragments of omentum. An omentectomy was performed to excise the cyst entirely. The specimen contained features of marked acute inflammation with diffuse endothelial positivity for D240 immunostain, which is consistent with a lymphatic malformation. Here is a picture of the patient and follow-up provided with parental consent. Thank you and please join us for the next episode of CB Clips.